up, guys? I'm Ronnie. I'm Rocky. What's up? <laughs> uh, this is R and R Tactics, and uh, well, we got we got something that we've done on the channel with a, uh, a suicide, but we haven't done it uh, by itself. If that makes any sense. So uh, today we are going to be doing uh, it's, it's cool, man. Red Seal Wintergreen. I haven't had this by itself in a long time. We did the dip suicide yeah. like a week ago. Uh, or so, I think it was a week ago. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm interested to see if they changed because I remember them to be like absolute shit. Not shit horn uh, standards, but no, see, pretty I'm bad. Saying that, I used to dip red horn as a budget, and I did red, red horn. <laughs> you said shit horn, it got me off track. <laughs> I used to dip red seal as a budget dip, and it, for a while I kind of swapped over to it because it's a it was cheaper at the time it was. When you buy the when you buy the can they're fully packed, there's actually more dip in there than there was there there is in a grizzly can. I don't know. I think that's I think that's a myth. No dude. Uh let me just show you it, it says it on here. We'll Always twenty five percent more tobacco. We'll try that. We'll test that myth. Uh okay. so this let's just do a comparison. This is a burger can of husky. Not much beer. difference. It's I mean, it's it's about like a. But dude, it's so compressed. You can't even probably get a dip out of it when you first open a can of it. Yeah, true. We, we struggled the first uh, pinch we got out of here, but like I said, we uh, we switched it all into one can, so we haven't tested it all at one time with uh, Red Seal. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so yeah. Uh, new video to uh, next week. What do y'all want to see? Uh, because I, we need some suggestions. Uh, we could be we could be just buying random dip and stuff like that. But what what dips do y'all want to see on the channel? Well, like uh, not not necessarily even dips, guys. Like give us some stuff to do. We're we're not just a dip channel or a gun channel, and that's what we mainly are. But at the same time, we want to give y'all better content. His hand's still healing up. So we're still waiting on the 10 subscriber fight thing, but it might be coming up here soon. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I must have messed it up pretty bad because it, it still hurts. Like uh, it right now, it's fine. But if I put any pressure on it, it just on a manual thing. I'm not gonna go to the doctor pressure. for it. I don't know. Uh, uh, how it happened was uh, I was at work and. Um, I was drilling through uh, the side of a house to put a uh, like a vent piece in there, uh, and I was stupid and I put it uh, on the high speed setting and I started drilling and as soon as I as soon as I, the drill caught it it went <laughs> so I don't know uh, it still like hurts a lot like just that alone just like really hurts right now uh, so. Thanks, yes. Well, I'm not crying, am I? Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm just waiting for it to heal up a little bit so we can get this done. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys have any suggestions of what we should do, uh, please leave them in the comments. Please, please, please. Y'all are the lifeline of our channel. Without y'all, we're just nobody. So, well, I mean, we're still nobody, but <laughs> we're, a little bit, we're a little bit more something with y'all. So, uh, I, we appreciate for the people that uh, keep coming to the channel every single day. Uh, really appreciate those guys. Um, our short, one of our shorts uh, announcing uh, the video last week got 151 views. That is amazing. That is great. I'll, I don't I mean, Just mind-blowing. Mind-boggling. Yeah, I mean, when we started doing the videos before, we... We kind of, we just stopped because we, we wouldn't get views. And when we, we'd get a couple subscribers here and there, and it was just like, we was just wanting to count. And, you know, we're just making, we, we, even though there's some weeks, even though we try our best to, he might only be able to put a short out there saying, hey guys, so and so, can't this week, yeah, or it'll be Monday, or whatever, you know. We're still trying to make content for y'all. I mean, it's not much, 
and it's not as much as it was when we first started back. Because when we first started back, it was like we was pumping out, we was making three videos a night, four videos a night, just pounding them out, pounding them out. And Josh didn't play a good part in that because uh, you get wore we've out. been we've been working a lot uh, at work and stuff like that, and uh, I've gotta that's go. I've that's got kind of why. Uh, why I kind of haven't been like real motivated to make more than one video and plus it just takes a lot of time that I don't have. Uh, weekends is usually the, the spot when I can get them out. Uh, same, same Well, let's say for me, I, here lately I've had so much going on there on the weekends that I'm not, I'm not been able to come over. And it's usually on weekdays I come over. Yeah, that, that's that's why we're doing this video on a weekday instead of a weekend. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, we're going to try to keep it on the weekends because, you know, I don't know. Unless y'all want uh, weekday videos. Uh, but more more preferably, we like the weekend videos because I'm not on a rush to get them out or anything like that. Uh, not on a struggle to edit the videos, which I don't, like, I don't really edit them uh, like... Uh, a bigger YouTube channel do. How many videos do we have to have for the subscribers do we have to have before we go live? 50. 50. We have to have 50 subscribers to go live. If um, we could go live. That'd be great. I'd love that. Uh, we could just sit here and <laughs> dip and talk to y'all. That'd be pretty cool. The only thing is going live is if you have a fuck up, you can't, <laughs> you can't come back from it. Yeah. I mean, it'd be alright. All right, let's uh, let's get into this dip. So uh, there's the can. They used to have plastic cans, which I ironically have a couple of them. Uh, there it is. Okay, so they used to be all plastic. This is a plastic can. Uh, there's the original can, and um, this is and the, the metal can. By the way, when I was dipping them, that's what. That's what kind of can lids I have is plastic ones, and I hate it because I always crack. Let's see. Yeah, and they're not as fresh, um, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, uh, you can just see the differences on the cans. Plastic one right here, uh, metal one right here. Uh, you can just see just all the differences that they made to it. And I think the newer can design looks pretty good. Uh, so let's see how good it tastes. Check out my shirt. Read that for Land of the free, home of the brave. Heck yeah, I couldn't have said it more myself. Uh, okay. So. Ouch. Put some dirt on the plate. She'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like an intense pain. Like, uh, I'm breaking my hand every single time. Like, I can't even pack that good, but. And the bad thing is we got a sparring session after this is over with, so. Hopefully. 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 We missed out on the last ones. <laughs> we can't miss out on that. You, you, are you, are you, I mean... Are you just... Oh my god. Wasteful. It's not... Okay, so this dip does not pinch very well. Look at me. You got a fucking hole in your lip. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's where Max jumped on me. What? You what are you talking about? Right there. Oh, that's a cold for one. Oh. Uh, Her beef. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see. Yeah. My drug we're spitting in today is the same old, same old. Uh, the. Patriotic mud jug. Mmm. That is a dry good. It's got a distinct taste to it, but mm -hmm. it's very dry. If it wasn't dry, so dry, it'd be a really good deal, I think. Uh, one, uh, very dry. Um, two, does not pinch very well. Like, I could not get a very good pinch out of it. Um, about to circle. I was discussing with we need to change up. We're going to spit in the most of our videos. Yeah, we're going to try to get some more. We need, we need to get us a shelf going somewhere right here. Mm -hmm. It's got all the mud jugs on it. Even though that ain't many right now. We need to get more mud jugs, but we'll save that for another time. Um, so, yeah. Right off the bat, um, I don't really like the taste of it. 
uh, which I believe, if I'm, I like if I'm not wrong, let me just make sure but so I don't bury myself. That was like one of the first steps I had to dip, really. Uh oh, what did say? When uh, my dad is in, uh, is in prison, and uh, we go see him, they got vending machines in the prison, and it's got dip in them, and it's like, seven dollars for a can of dip because it's hot, it, it, just for him to get a dip and uh well go go in there and go over the machine room punch in that'd be the only kind they had in there was bricks and all a couple of them get a can of it they get a dip i get a dip and now we sit there but okay. we was in there for three hours visiting and but you know, he, he can only eat like he usually can only get get, get skull, and sometimes he can get grizzly fine cut. He's he's a Copenhagen snuff different, but he, most of the time he can only get skull, uh, original fine cut, which is a fine cut wintergreen, or he can only get uh, grizzly fine cut natural or one horn. I mean, uh, uh, husky. No. Red Seal? Red Seal, yes, that's mm -hmm. what we got from that. Alright, so, um, do you have a can of Copenhagen? I don't know, I got a can of Grizzly. Okay, so these Here three, really? these three, uh, I'm pretty sure are the same thing. They're made by the same uh, company. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these are all made by the same company. These two are, this one, it just says smokeless tobacco, but I don't know of a company that smokeless tobacco. I know a company called U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, which is these. So uh, I think they're all made by the same same person, like same company. No, that, that, hang on, I'm find this out really quick. I, I think I think they're made by the same company. Uh, who makes Red Seal? No, this one just says smokeless tobacco. You got smokeless. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't know why they didn't put U.S. on there. Prior to 2001, U.S.T.C. was known as U.S. Tobacco Company. Copenhagen, Skoll, Red Seal, and Husky. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some interesting facts for you guys. Yeah, so um, uh, these and Skoll are made by the same company. Hold on, let me, let me get them in a better group. These are all made by the same company. Uh, Red Seal, uh, Husky, Copenhagen, Skull. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, we don't we don't dip a lot of Skull because, uh, well, I don't like it. Uh, I, well, I can't really say that because I haven't tried many Skull dips out there. I've tried. Uh, I still can't find it. Um, I've tried uh, Skull, uh, Skullberry, and Skull. Cherry, I think it was. Now I will say this. Not a big fan of any. Skull citrus is not that bad. I like it for a summertime like as a break. Like if I'm going fishing or something, I want something sweet or I'm just I'll get a dip. I'll get a dip of skullberry and uh but no. Uh I mean not skullberry, not skullberry. Skull citrus. Uh but uh it, it's a good, it's okay. School, school fine cut original, it's okay. Uh, school spearmint, it's pretty good. You ever heard about it? School spearmint? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's, it tastes like chewing gum. But, I mean. I haven't had many school dips out there. I haven't had citrus or spearmint or wintergreen. I've never had any of those. The only ones I've tried is. Uh, Skull, um, skull cherry and skull berry. Skull, I don't like skull cherry. It's too, I hate it's skull too cherry. synthetic tasting. Dang sure don't like skull, uh, skull berry. And skull apple, it was good at first, but then it just kind of developed uh, like a, a coppery taste. Like when you put a penny in your mouth, like are you getting nosebleed? It smells really good, but it's got that tang to it that I just don't like. Now, my favorite apple dip is probably kayak apple. Kayak's got a good apple. Okay, I've had kayak apple and I do not agree. You don't eat it 
I haven't had it in a long time, but the way I have remember you said it, metal cans? No, I I have I haven't tried it in a long time, like since I first started dipping. I know there's a kayak peach can somewhere that we did a video on. We did a video with kayak peach. Yeah, kayak peach. But I'm just saying, you said they need metal cans. Mm -hmm. It tastes better than metal cans. Now, we'll have to try that. Uh, what what else? Wolf? No, wolf apple's terrible. I've had Timberwolf uh, straight. I've had Timberwolf straight. And that it's nasty. is awful. God awful. Now, I will say this. If I'm going to dip dip a straight ever, and I don't usually dip a straight, uh, I'm probably going to be dipping coconut in straight. And I, I, like I said, that's only like a once in a while, just like an urge, you know, I get a pinch of it. But. Okay, so the packability, um, it's it's pretty good in the lip, and it's packability in the lip. Um, it's pretty good. It's okay. Um, I got a few floaters, but not like too many. Um, not as much as a uh, like. Uh, uh, what what would you say? Shithorn. Yeah, shithorn. Shithorn has a lot of floaters. Um, I don't I don't have very many floaters, so that's a good that's a good thing. They they've improved on that because. I remember back uh, back when I first tried it, I had a lot of floaters and it did not taste good. Uh, I think they improved on the taste a little bit. If I do not, if I, uh, if I remember I mean, correctly, I've always kind of liked the taste of it. No. Well, I don't taste any plastic no more. Like yes. you don't have that plasticky taste no more no, like it not, did. It's not a completely plastic can. Yeah. Uh. It's just a subtle winner. I, I still don't like it, but uh, it's not it's not as bad as it was as it used to be. So I couldn't uh, dip it every day. Props on Red Seal for that. Uh, I couldn't dip it every day because of uh, once I started on Grizzly Wintergreen, it's hard for me to dip another Wintergreen because Grizzly Wintergreen's got a lot of punch in it, the nicotine level, so it's just a higher nicotine level. It's just, it's got that burn, not every time. And I say burn, not like you put your first dip in burn, but like, it's just got that, just that little uh um, that makes it feel good, it hurts real good when you put it in. I'm, uh, I'm going to show you all the, uh, the tobacco one. inside. Uh, it's not bad. Like I said, it don't, it don't pack very well. Uh, I, like it packs okay but not too well um pitchability really sucks good. uh it's brown but uh it's not it's not too bad um yeah i see the, the pinchability it's kind of it's kind of garbage which i mean once you get it yeah see it just it doesn't stay together very well um, let's do this and this. Husky. Yeah, Husky. And uh, I want to do Paris. Husky's about the same. I like Husky a little bit more. Alright, tell me if y'all can guess what that is. I like dark goodness. Outlaw winter green. <laughs> Outlaw is... Jennifer makes some dark, really moist look. How long have you had this can? Uh, I've had this can for about like three months, I believe. Look, look now. I'm just holding this. I'm gonna stick it back in the can. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's still moist. That's a can of Outlaw, and this is a can of Red Steel. I mean, it's kind of obvious though. I mean, that's a higher quality beer. Yeah. Uh, only thing I don't like about Outlaw is the leaf. Is it's not tobacco. It's leaf. It's just got a different feel in the mouth. The only thing I don't like about Outlaw That's is like, uh, it is harder to get there. Yeah, it's harder to get than uh, just going down to the store and buying like a can of Red Seal or something. And I could uh, probably get used to mouthfeel if I dipped it every day. Oh, I dipped it every day for a long time. Uh, but then it just got to the point where I was, well, I kept getting behind on buying dip and stuff like that, and I just stopped, like I just stopped buying it and went down where, there and got where, me a log. Where of, are you uh, at on flavor on this dip? Uh, flavor's still 
Okay. So uh, we're 20 minutes in. Flavor still good. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't get a filler killer because I like very big cups. It, it's starting to fade out a little bit, but not not too horribly. It's about normal for a. Uh, it's about like husky. Husky yeah. fades out about this much. Uh, this is fading out a little bit more, but not too much. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit of floaters, but not not too many right now at the moment. So, uh, and we're like 20 minutes in. So. Oh. So. I got something for you. Hmm. Now, if you can do this, you get it. All right? What? It's a tongue twister. Are you ready? Yeah. For what you could check wood, how much wood could what you check for what you could check wood? How much wood could a wood check check if a wood check could check wood? No, you're supposed to say, well, if woodchuck could check wood, woodchuck could check as much wood as woodchuck could check, woodchuck could check wood. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty, pretty tough one. Uh, so, yeah, packability is okay in the lid. <laughs> but you, you would say? Packability is great in the lid for me. Um, I am getting floater every now and then still. Um, well, I mean, it's a, uh, how much is Red Seal? Uh, that's what I'm trying to remember. I think it's like three something can. It's like three or four dollars. It's, it's about normal for a can of dip now. Uh, I remember when this used to be like, uh, how much? Two dollars. Two dollars. Something well, like that. That's I was dipping it at the time. Because you get a can, two cans of it. And back then, two cans of it lasted four days. But now, which I didn't visit in the rain, I can last me maybe a day. But it's not because I did I keep I don't keep it in there long. It's because I get such big dips. I get four dips and thirty four dips and the can's empty. Like it's literally the bit the lot my can's divided into four four pinches. Yeah, um I don't know what, what video we're going to do next week. Uh, so comment down below if you got any suggestions on what we should do. Yeah. Because uh, we'd like your feedback uh, on some of this stuff. Uh, like, uh, should we do... Skull? Uh, Red Seal Natural? Should we drive a, drive a car off the cliff? I mean, I'm, just, I'm not going to do all that now. Stop uh, dummies. What about Cougar? Maybe Cougar. Well, I haven't had a Cougar. You haven't had Cougar? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Uh, we could try Cougar Wintergreen, or we could try Cougar Snuff, or we could try... Should we try a Snuff? Yeah, let us know. Because uh, that would be pretty interesting. I haven't had Snuff in a long time. I We're I'm mostly like uh, I mostly just do wintergreen dips because like I don't know it's just it's just okay for me like uh, I like the wintergreen flavor and like this was my everyday dip for a long time like and still is uh, it's been it's been my everyday dip since 2016 no about 2017. So, well, how many years is that? What? Years what? Six years. Six? It, that can't be six years. What? From 2017 to now? Five years? Well, six years. Huh? Six years. Five or six years it's been since like I, I swapped to over to uh, Grizzly Dark. And it's and been about 
it's getting close to two years since I've been on this little winter. It used to be Copenhagen winter rain all the time. But, uh, I used to dip Copenhagen winter rain uh, uh, before that, and then I just I really didn't like winter, Copenhagen winter rain. Uh, so when I swapped over this, I swapped my dad over to it as well, and he loved it like so much. He's like, yeah, this is better. It's cheaper, and it tastes better. It's like, see? Dang, it's been six years, man. It's been, it's been where, a long where, time. Where does time go? I don't know. You just had your birthday. My birthday's coming up in June. Yep. It doesn't seem like it. Pretty crazy. Time flies. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. So uh, we've already tried Longhorn. Which Longhorn is still in the plastic cans uh, for us down here, anyway. I don't know what it is up there, uh, but yeah. So uh, if you have any suggestions. Um, leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, we're up for them. Chew, dip, uh, we snuff, just about anything. We'll, we'll try it and we'll give you our honest review and opinion on it. And uh, so, I don't know if we have done this before, but is this worth buying? In my opinion. Alright, here, here's my opinion. If you're a smoker or something, and you, you, you can't smoke, or you're trying to stop smoking, uh, and you, so that's a different form of nicotine intake. So it's going to still, it's going to give you a big buzz and everything at first. But I would recommend this for beginners because it's such a subtle it's hard to pit harder to pinch but it's easy to keep in the lip uh it's not real strong i don't know i i would uh i would recommend husky for your well, for a beginning dip because it's it's not it's not like too overbearing or stuff like that it's good pinchability it's well, husky cheap is, i thought husky was high no it's 260 it can are you serious yeah i might swap over to husky guys yeah, it's like Husky's like two sixty a can. It's because it's pretty good. I mean, it, it is. You can't hardly tell it from Grizzly. No, I'm thinking of Kodiak. 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 Like, I've never had Kodiak, but I've heard it's really good. It. If I could afford it, that's what I would get because it is a. It's a really good one. Range. It's very good. In my opinion. Just think of uh, the Lamborghini of dips. Uh, that's what that is. Of, uh, of, uh, of, um, what you, what do you make excuse me? American stuff, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's the Lamborghini of American stuff. Now, U.S. Smokeless? Yeah, American stuff. U.S. Smokeless, it's Copenhagen. Yeah, I'd say Copenhagen is their, like, most leading, most selling brand of dip. Was Copenhagen. Now, in saying that, the, the, the U.S. Snuff, their leading seller is Grizzly all, all the way. Yeah, Grizzly, Grizzly Dark, those two are the most uh, sellers, my, I, saw, I believe. I my, dad, he, my granddad, he dips Grizzly, Grizzly Snuff. He dipped Copenhagen Snuff, but he got so high he couldn't afford it. And then Grizzly, he can't, he can't dip too many dips because they get part burn, but Grizzly stuff, Copenhagen kind of stuff don't. And to him, he said the taste wasn't, it, it wasn't the same, but it wasn't too much difference for him to swap, so he swapped to the Grizzly, and that's what he's been dipping for a while now, years. And, uh, I just, I've never been a big fan of stuff. Just, it, the flavor, I, the flavor, it's not the flavor, it's just, I don't know. Me, don't um. Now, for my opinion, would I uh, would I suggest you uh, trying this dip? Sure. Uh, if you're a fan of any of the uh, 
uh, if you're a fan of Husky, try it. I mean, uh, what's the worst that can happen? You lose four dollars. Like that's not that's not too bad. Uh, I've lost plenty of money buying dips. Like this one, I don't even remember how this one was, but it was it's garbage. Like I'm not gonna dip this. Uh, it's probably just gonna be a suicide uh, filler. So <laughs> it's kind of kind of one of those things where it's uh, it's kind of the the draw. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, like Longhorn, I'd say don't don't buy it. Don't buy it. Uh, but unless you're just that broke. Yeah, I mean it's nicotine's nicotine, you know. But uh, Red Seal, if I, if you like Red Seal, that's like that's fine. Uh, but personally, me, I don't like it. He likes it. I mean, I don't like. I'm not like. I don't know. I almost walked to this. This is this is it. To the me, price it's a nice change the price of it uh i don't know i would say go with husky because uh it's like like i said i think it's four dollars i don't really remember i don't have the receipt or anything like that but uh i think it went up so uh as for that this is a cheap and uh a really good dip uh, i would say so uh, if you're going to dip anything i'd probably recommend husky out of them uh it's a cheap dip uh it tastes good it, it feels good in the lip and stuff like that you know it's for a cheap dip that's like god tier which might want to hop on that because it might go up <laughs> all the dips are going up except for outlaw outlaw's been staying the same i believe uh <sighs> yeah uh where are you at on play with uh, still, still uh, a strong flavor. Not strong, but yeah, still maintaining the flavor. Same here. Mm. I mean, you don't have a strong flavor when you put it in the game with it. But some some people, it, for some people, it's an acquired taste, or it's a winner it is. Because it's just got like a a taste to it. It's Everybody. If you like if you like uh, Copenhagen products, uh, like Skull, if you like Skull, you'll probably like this. Um, I mean, to me, Skull is a different taste than that. Uh, yeah, it's a different taste. Skull, I mean, Skull Wintergreen is not bad. It's just... I'd the say... Only, the worst dip of Skull is Skull Berry, which is... That can... Not there. Can't see it. Show it. Nasty. No, 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 no. Uh, no. If you like, if, like I said, if you like Copenhagen products, you'll probably like this one. Uh, I don't know. It, you guys try it if you like it, and you know. but uh, uh, I, we don't really like it. We're not. I'm not a big fan of Copenhagen products to begin with. Uh, Copenhagen has like a, a overbearing taste of wintergreen lunch. Uh, that's why I kind of switched over to see uh, for me Copenhagen is not stout uh, this past week Copenhagen is cheaper than Grizzly right now and this past week I had to get a can of that because I was on a budget uh, a roll of that because I was on a budget and for me Copenhagen it seems like two dips and I'm done with can because there's such a big pinch taken out of it the God's pinch and it's just what everybody calls it, but it's just such a big pinch that's taken out of it that it's not worth buying. Cause you get a can of Grizzly, it's packed to the brim. I mean, same th that's the same thing goes for this. You get a can of this, it's packed. It might not be the moistest dip in the world. It might not be the best dip that it's tasting in the world. If you want something that if you don't get huge dips like me and you just get you just get moderate sized dips. This can will last you two days. I mean, seriously. This, I, I, if this is a can of your dip, how long do you think it will last you? As packed as it is. About four, maybe five days. But Which I, I take uh, smaller dips uh, just because, you know, it saves me on my, on my dip. Uh, I dip a can every three days. Uh, 
No, that shocked him the first time he heard about it, but yeah. Yeah, that uh, really did because me, I mean, it's just once I take very I, few dips a day. Uh, just because I, I just like letting them sit in there and like simmer. Uh, sometimes I forget about them, and that's why normally it lasts me uh, three days. Is because I just forget about them. Uh, but other days I'll dip it in like two days or one day. Uh, if I'm really stressed out uh, about something, I'll dip a whole can a day, and like that's not very good for me because you know I, I, I'm not. I'm not like making any money that week and I dip a whole can. Oh, there you go. I gotta dig in my freezer and find another can, you know. So, uh, which I buy these by the log and uh, a whole roll lasts me about two weeks. Uh, by fri by the next Friday, I gotta buy another roll. Like, I'm out of dip and I gotta buy another roll. But, two weeks, a roll? Mm hmm. That's that's usually how it goes. I've, I've been I've been dipping these uh, lately. Uh, and they've been going away in two days. So I, I get. I wish I could go back to that. I really do because my once I start once I started getting bigger and bigger dips, my pocket just got bigger. And now if I don't feel that, it don't feel right. It's just it gets loose real quick because my pocket's so big. So I have to get a bigger dip. And I wished I could go back to taking small dips like that and keeping it and making a can go two days and then wouldn't have nothing to worry about. Or if I could start putting my front lip, but I just, it's hard to do. Yeah, um, when I first started dipping, um, I didn't know which side to put it on. And like people say, oh them. yeah, it's it's uh it's no different. But uh, I had to show them big time. uh, yeah, when I first started dipping, yeah, I would I, I would pull my out. lip out and put it in there. And then now Joker, it's just like then Joker's like spitting. He's got his arms out to the side. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the crap? I wish I had a video of, of my too. first time dipping. I wish I had a video of my first time dipping. I'm sitting on this shelf at a buddy's house, and I'm like. He's like, you want it? I'm like, yeah, peer pressure. So, uh, yeah, throws me a can of Copenhagen. Kind of from like that scene in American Sniper where they're sitting up in the, where they're sitting up in this dude's house and they're getting ready to take out some bad guys. And uh, they're like sitting there throwing the can and he tosses the can to me and I'm like, well, it amazed them because after watching my dad and my granddad did so long, I was like, 14, 15 this time, 16 maybe, 15, 16, somewhere there is where I started, like really started, and I did before that a lot, but not like this, and I just grabbed me a pinch, you know, a little, a little pinch, and I just threw it in my tongue and placed it on my lip, and those looking at me, like, how'd you do that, dude, I, don't know. I just did it, it didn't make sick, no, I'm sitting there, I'm spitting like eight, hey, it's like, But it ain't, it's, and I just keep spitting, keep spitting. After about two minutes, I'm like, I'm laughing my ass off everything, everything. Fall off the shelf, and the shelf's like this high. Fall off the shelf, hit the floor, crack the dude's TV. He's like, what the hell? And I'm like, I'm sorry. But, you know, you kind of pressured me into this situation. After that, though, I never stopped. Like I said, though, neither one of us recommend underage dipping. We we won't recommend dipping at all if you're not dipping because if you're smoking, habit. then yes, go ahead and go ahead and make the it's switch because it, it's it's gonna be better for you. Like some people say, oh yeah, you'll get lip cancer and stuff like that. How many times has that happened? I don't know. I uh, have, I've never, I've heard of it maybe once or twice. My dad uh, was my dad's been dipping since he was sixteen. Uh, and he's never stopped. He smoked cigarettes and still he lived a happy life, like a happy, healthy life for a smoker and a dipper. Uh, and he never got that. anything like that. Uh, my uncle, he still dips to this day and he's never had cancer about anything like that. My granddad's 50, 
Maybe pick four. Pick somewhere in there. And he's been dipping since he was about 10. And there is a chance of you getting cancer from it, but um, the chances are extremely low than smoking. Yes. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like oh yeah, do I do uh, one of both evils? One that's gonna hurt me less, or one that's gonna hurt me more? Yeah. So, like I said though, at the same time, I wish I would never started because it's a bad habit. Girls don't want to kiss you in the dip in. Girls don't like the guy. I mean, most girls don't like the guy. Which down here in Alabama, especially where we're at, most yeah, it's kind of it's kind of most like, girls are used to it because there's a lot of guys that did down here. Like my my entire my entire sixth grade from sixth grade all the way to eighth grade by uh, eighth grade time, almost every guy, almost every one of my buddies, like everything went to school with. It was all packed and lit, and I'm like, okay. Uh, and then still, I never did that in school. Like, uh, I, I I did during like uh, in my uh, schooling years, uh, I did dip, but I never did it in school. <laughs> Cause uh, did you say you dig dick? No, I did dip. Cause <laughs> I heard something else, buddy. Uh, yeah, like I I. I you know, it'd pack a lip, but it would never be in school. And, like, that was crazy for me is because I always seen, like, uh, my friends and stuff, like, dip in school. I'm like, I'm not giving them that. Like, so I, I guess I was kind of smart about it. Uh, no one really knew um, until, like. I was probably like, the only one that knew he did for a while. Yeah, for a long time. Me and his brother. Most of, most of my time dipping, nobody knew uh, of, like, my, uh, my, underage dipping of course uh but nobody knew um kind i, I kind of regret it but like at the same time i'm here for a good time not a long time so kind of i kind of i really like it don't matter to me uh do I, am i worried about cancer no i don't care uh i'll fight it if i do get cancer uh for people that do have cancer i'm sorry uh, we're, we're praying for like everybody that has cancer and stuff like that but uh, as for cancer affecting me I don't really like I, I don't really care about cancer really See, cancer like, runs fuck in cancer you know cancer, I, I cancer runs in my family so uh, which you can get cancer from doing anything like second hand smoke is a lot of cancer Seriously, it is. Lung damage cancer causes a lot of it's from secondhand smoke. My aunt. Don't take that in the wrong Which way either, that, uh, that I don't care about cancer as in like cancer patients and stuff like that. I don't care if it happens to me. Uh, it's a bad thing, yeah, I get it, but like I said, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, so. If that's the way I'm intended to go, that's the way I'm going. You know, it's like, okay. No, like my aunt. Let's let's back. This is back to smoking. She died of throat and lung cancer at 40, 43, 44 years old, and smoking cigarettes. And that's that's what got her. And it, you know, it killed. I got her name on my arm right here. And her hand out. That's me and her was really close. And. <clears throat> It was hard on all of us, especially my grandmother and my cousins and all. But it's just one of those things that you know, I just took, it probably really got to go out of the world before everything got bad because the way the world's going right now. It's pretty, it's pretty bad, uh, the world is. But yeah, uh, as, as, as far as cancer goes and stuff like that. I'm not really too much worried about it. Uh, if that's the way I'm intended to go, that's the way I'm going. Like, there's nothing that can stop it. There's, as far as I know, there's, like, no possible cure. See, cancer, now, they, they want you which, to believe that, but I really do believe there's a cure out there somewhere. And the gut, somebody don't want you to know about it because money adds up on doctors and stuff like that. So, there's a cure for cancer somewhere. I, I, 
I'm one. Of, I'm not one of those. Uh, like, believes the crazy crap. I, I really truly believe they're cure for cancer somewhere. Yeah. Um. Somewhere. Might not been found yet, but I believe that has one been found. I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I, I hope that cancer gets off the earth like real fast. Like, there's a, a way to cure it soon. Um, so if you're affected by cancer in any way, we'll, we'll pray for you. We'll pray for you uh, because it takes a strong person to get through it. And we believe that all y'all are strong. Uh, people that have cancer, y'all are tougher than me. I know that because I, can, I couldn't even fathom going through all that. It's rough. But, uh, it's so, really rough for us to get through it, too. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, prayers out to all them folks but anyway uh so that's our rant on uh you know tobacco and stuff like that so uh like i said if y'all have any uh uh like comments and stuff like that on what dip we should do next leave it down in the comments but uh yeah so uh just wait on him I think we should do. Okay, I'm back. What's what's a dip that we haven't done yet? Cougar, a lot of skulls. Uh, I think we should do um, skull. I want to try skull citrus. So uh, let us know if you want to see that, because uh, that'll be pretty interesting. But anyway, uh, we're going on uh, quite a long time, so. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. I'm Ronnie. I'm Rocky. And this, this is our Tactics. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.